gosh. What? What? Every single step. It's like he's it's like four or five times the steps of everyone else that's around him. Welcome back to the channel guys, it is JJ here, back with a new video today, and we are finally doing a video on the one, the only fastest man in world football, well I guess arguably the fastest man in world football, whether it's a ball at his feet or whether it's him just going dead sprint, it is the Spanish Prince, Adama Traore. Now, obviously he has the pace to burn, he's been absolutely amazing with Wolves, but I don't want to jinx myself because I'm a Chelsea fan and need Wolves to either lose or draw with us so we can make it to the Champions League. So please, Adama, do not use what we're going to see in this video today on us this Sunday for Football Sunday. I just, I'm scared, I'm a little, I'm a little terrified, but also the guy's absolutely amazing. It's going to be a, it's going to be kind of surprising that he's not going to go to a top six side, although Wolves could end up that sixth place side but I mean you know obviously the Tottenham's the Arsenal's this, this is the type of player people need where he's got that amazing pace he's got the dribbling this season he, the chance creation that he has had the link up he's had with Raul Jimenez has been unbelievable they have I think seven assists from Madama to Raul Jimenez so far this season like four goals nine assists in total and it's all because of what we're going to take a look at today crazy fast runs the amazing speed and Adama just being a brick an absolute unit. So we're gonna take a look at a dormitory rate. You guys gotta let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. The man is a legend. I think the the evolution, I, I guess before we actually get into the video, the evolution of Adama Traore has been remarkable. He used to, obviously, he's always been able to dribble really well. He's always been very quick. He's always been stocky. But it takes the right manager, the right coach, the right system to essentially get the best out of him, whether it's him playing right wing back, right wing, even a second striker. It's You want to be able to utilize his pace and his ability to create. Well, I guess that's the thing that's been the best change for him. It's his ability to create chances, and the big chances as well. It's something that, you know, the likes of Mesut Ozil, the likes of Bruno Fernandes, uh, I, mean, I mean, James Madison, they just create buckets and buckets of chances. Oh. Oh, yeah. Him for Middlesbrough is just an entirely different thing. I mean, the guy could just... Ugh. I feel like the Middlesbrough one is just where he just turned into, uh, in, into I guess, the Adama Traore we know today. Like, ugh. The fact that he was even in the championship is just beyond me. Like, with the right manager, he could have been out so early. single step it's like he's it's like four or five times the steps of everyone else that's around him that's disgusting speed and now obviously Alfonso Davies is just like that as well where he's got insane pace to burn but this man Adama is a different beast I shouldn't say beast I don't, I don't like when people call black people beast It sucks that a lot of these are going to be from the championship, but I mean, this is kind of an older video as well. He's got many, many more times in the Premier League. Congrats, Leeds. Congrats on the promotion. They really try to take him down that whole time. What sucks is I feel like at that point there is no outlet for him. Going up against Tottenham. Oh, Victor Wanyama trying to stop him. Yikes. Oof. Just 
just makes it look so smooth. His form is so good. Oh, uh, no. Drop holding. Oh, and he left him in the dust. It's, that, that's the part that sucks is Adama used to always get into these open opportunities and he'd never be able to score. Now he's slowly putting that part together. Oh, wow. And, and he had time. He had a lot of time to spare as well. That's the scary part. Oh, my lord. This is the number one. And goodbye. Yaya Torre, I'm sorry, bro. Yaya Torre did the smart thing and tried to cut him off on the other side. Still couldn't get to him. Even Ultimendi couldn't get to him. I, I honestly think this is the most impressive of all. Him running... Or uh, maybe it's not that one. Yeah, this one. The one against Aston Villa, him running without the ball, is when you truly get to see that speed on display. Because... It's one of those die situations where it's last ditch defending, last minute defending, has to be done. And what does he do? With time to spare. With time to spare, no problem. Mike. Like, the way his, you can't, like, the tape on his wrists make it seem like his arms are moving so fast as well. That's so unbelievable. But you guys gotta let me know your thoughts on a, a dormitory, all right? We, maybe we can watch a video where we actually watch the fastest players in world football, whether that's Afonso Davies, Kylian Mbappe, Dama Traore, uh, Leroy Sané. Uh, it, it's gonna be exciting to actually take a look at that, but thank you guys so much for watching. Obviously, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.